I'm Anil Kumar and in this series we have another interesting question which is relating trigonometric ratios. Given sine square x equals to 8 over 9 where x is between pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 you need to evaluate sine of 2x. Now in this case we are given sine square x so we have sine square x as equal to 8 over 9. Now from here we can get this value of sine x sin x should be square root of 8 over 9. Right? Whenever you do square root, you have to write plus and minus. That means you get two values for sin x. So the sin x could be either square root of 8 over 9, which is, let me write this as, uh, okay, 8 could be written as, uh, let me write this as like this. 8 could be written as 2 times 4. I will do it in two steps and 9. Is it okay? Now, 4 square root is 2, so I get 2 square root 2. Do you get the point? And 3 here. Also plus and minus. Plus and minus means we get either plus or negative value of 2 square root 2 over 3. So sine x could have two values. That is to say, plus 2 square root 2 over 3 or minus 2 square root 2 over 3. Correct. Now, as I was saying, whenever we look into trigonometric ratios, we should see their values in two parts. One magnitude, the other plus or minus, the sign. Now, we are given x between pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. Let me sketch this quadrant. Now, in this quadrant, we know all are positive in quadrant 1. Sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan in 3 and cosine in 4. Our domain for this solution is within pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. That means we are looking into this portion. We have two values for sine. One is positive, the other one is negative, right? So the positive value means we are interested in domain in quadrant 2. That is the positive value for sine. And this is the negative value for sine. Do you understand? So that means we have to find the solution in both these quadrants, quadrant 2 as well as in quadrant 3. That's a very, very important part to understand. I hope you appreciate it. Right? Now, <laughs> we can find the value of sine x. Uh, we know sine x. We can find the value of cosine x from either making a triangle here or when you are given sine square x, we can say, well, if sine square x is 8 over 9, then cos square x should be equal to 1 minus sin square x, correct? That is to say, cos square x should be equal to 1 minus sin square x is 8 over 9. So, we we'll write 8 over 9 here and simplify this. So, 9 minus 8 divided by 9 or 1 over 9. Do you get it? Since cos square x is 1 over 9, what is cos x? We can say cos x is equal to plus minus square root of 1 over 9, right? So that gives us plus minus 1 over 3. Is that okay? So cos value could be plus minus square root of 3. Since in this particular example, we are talking about x being within pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2, we will only be considering the negative value of cos x, right? Cos x could be could be what? Cos x could be either positive or negative, but since we are in quadrant 2 or 3, cos x can only be negative, correct? So, cos x could only be negative 1 over 3. Is that okay? Because we are in quadrant 2 or 3. Is that okay? So, we have cos x as minus 1 over 3. Now, since we know cos x and sin x, we can always find sin 2x, correct? So let's find what sine 2x is. So we have sine 2x, which is equal to 2 times sine x cos x. And we also understand that we have two different solutions since we are working in the domain between pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. Right? So we could have had, so we'll write quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3. 
Now in quadrant 2 we have sin x as equals to 2 square root 2 over 3 and cos x as equals to minus 1 over 3. In quadrant 3 sin x is also negative right so it is minus 2 square root 2 over 3 and cos x is negative 1 over 3. Therefore sin 2x in quadrant 2 is going to be 2 times sin x cos x. We are substituting these two values here, right? So we get 2 square root 2 over 3 times minus 1 over 3. Is that okay? Which gives us the value? This is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. So we get 4 square root 2 over 9 with a negative sign. Is it all? So we get negative for coordinate 2 values. But sin 2x when in coordinate 3 we have 2 times sin x value is negative 2 square root 2 over 3 and cos x is also negative 1 over 3. That gives us positive value. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 square root 2 over 9 but this is positive right so these are the two different solutions depending on in which quadrant we are so in the given domain we have two solutions for this particular question i hope you understand and appreciate it how we got it so you start with sine squared x the given value find sine x which could be 2 plus or minus since we are given domain as quadrant 2 and quadrant 3 Positive value corresponds to quadrant 2, negative value corresponds to quadrant 3. Accordingly, find the value for cosine x, which is going to be minus 1 over 3, which we prefer to find from sine square x. And that's a better way, right? It is better to go from here since it's kind of complicated to use this. Okay. Now, so you find that value. It is 1 over 3, right? So we do have a triangle, which you can now correlate. And, uh, you know, that gives you a triangle, very simple. So, 1 over 3, so that gives you that for the given value of x, 1 over 3, that is, that is a triangle, right? So, 3 square minus 1, that means 9, so it's square root of 8 is right there, right? That gives you the sine value, do you see that? So, that's a triangle. So, as I was saying, whenever you look at a trigonometric ratio, see two parts, magnitude and direction. I mean, magnitude and sine, right? So when you are in quadrant 2, sine is positive, cosine is negative. In quadrant 3, both are negative. So you get a positive answer in quadrant 3 and a negative answer in quadrant 2. So clearly, it is equal to minus 4 square root 2 over 9 right here it is plus do you see that here it is plus so that is how you should be solving it i hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best